sister died in an accident. She was 15 years old. For me, this was such a shock. So I, would, I have the feeling that the whole floor was open. And I, I, I don't know, I was very close to depression. So I had no other option than to start searching because I couldn't just go on. She was really the saint of the family. She, she was very special. And it's often these people are called when they are young and she was of that kind. So I, th I really think that she, she is doing something for us now. She was also the most, the, 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 one of the brothers and sisters who was most into the faith and she was always thinking about others. She always come into problem because she did it all the time. So I think based on that, it was such a shock when she just took away and I had no other option than to get the answers. Where is she? I couldn't accept that she disappeared. A close person to my sister she told us that she saw her when she died in front of her. And for me, she couldn't lie about that. And the other sign was my grandmother, who was an atheist. And she told us that she knew exactly when my sister died. And she had the same experience with my grandfather, because he died in the Second World War. So those two things gave me on track because then I knew that there was something on the other side. What is it all about, the life? Because the life is like, like a water in your hand. It, it, it goes away very quick. And have you, have you thought about how short life is? is to start looking for what is my calling? What does God want me to do? And what can I do for the other people? Because it's much more fulfilling to help others, to, to be there for others, than try to fill everything up for what you think you need. So that's, that's really the key thing, both in your marriage and in your career.